I thank the gentleman for yielding. Madam Speaker, I rise today in strong support of H.R. 4028. This is legislation that I was proud to originally co-sponsor with my good friend, the gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Long. Madam Speaker, my colleagues on this side of the aisle are leading to secure our communications technology and supply chains with proposals like this, which would create a whole of government strategy. We need to make sure information technology supply chains are secure, and we need to know how dependent U.S. information and communications technology companies are on foreign countries like China. To accomplish this goal, we must secure our communication supply chain by enhancing communication between the government and private sector on cybersecurity literacy and educating the public on cyber hygiene practices. We know that investment and innovation and preparation for the security challenges of tomorrow's technologies are critical. Our nation has, unfortunately, seen firsthand the disruption caused by attacks on American supply chains, critical infrastructure, and government computer systems in recent years. That's why H.R. 4028 is so important. This legislation would direct the National Telecommunications and Information Administration to not just conduct a study, but would require it to come up with a real solution to securing this critical supply chain. This legislation would not only identify the risk, but also develop a strategy to secure supply chains for information and communications technology. We must take our communications and technology supply chain seriously, and this legislation will do just that. I urge swift passage of H.R. 4028, and you'll back the balance of my time.